Hello guys, this is Sahil. Welcome to Cloud Doctor. In the previous video, we have created the Cognito user pool and in this video, we will set up the user registration functionality. So let's start with the video. So let me open VS Code first of all. And this is our project. And first of all, we will create a .env file. .env the file has been created now we will include in the dot git ignore dot env and we will save it so now we have to log into our aws console so we have to go to the cognito and manage user pool and this is our user pool which we have created so here what we have to do, we have to copy this pool id first of all and we will paste it in the .env file. So what is this? Pool id equals to this and again we have to copy the app client id. So let me check the app client id here. We'll go to app client settings and we'll just copy this. Yeah like that and what we will do? We will paste it here app client id yeah done so now we have to create a file called user pool.js yeah so now import cognito user pool from amazon cognito identity js then const pool data equals to user pool id and it will be process.env dot what was the name let me check once the yeah, pool id we copy this and i will paste it here and this s should be small user pool id and client id will be process dot env dot what was the name app client id so i will just copy this and i will paste it here so export default new cognito user pool pool data so we are done with this file so we have to work on the login file so first of all here what we will do will create states first let me check what are the components we have so so to sign up a user we have username email password and confirm password so we will create const email set email use state and then const name set name use state uh, same for password set password const c password set c password use state done so now what we will do first of all here in this input field we'll write value and it will be email and on change event set email event dot target dot value and I'll do the same for each one of them 
so i will just copy this from here and i will paste it in this input field the value will be name we have to call set name okay so here also the value will be password and here set password this one also value will be c password and here set c password so now let me open the documentation once cognito and pm js identity so this one registering a user with the application so what are the things we need we need to send the username so we have to create this attribute list and this variable also okay so we'll start working on our account state file so here what we will do the first thing which we will be doing is user registration so const sign up equals to and it will be asynchronous and here we will take email name password return await new promise resolve reject so what we need here let me check attribute list okay so where attribute list equals to this and after that where username equals to so name and it will be name value will be name done then what we have to do dot push username done now after that what we have to do user pool dot sign up okay so let us import user pool and here what we will do user pool dot sign up then we have to pass email then after email password an attribute list after that null then a function error data like that okay so if error console dot log failed to register error dot message and reject then else console dot log account created successfully data and resolve so this is done now here we will pass value will be sign up here the p should be capital yeah now it is okay so now in the login.js file 
we have to import use context and here what we will do let const sign up was to use context account context yeah it is imported so now let us add on click listener here so on click handle registration let me copy this and here what we will do we will create the registration functionality okay so here only user registration const handle registration equals to this okay so now here we will add event and event dot prevent default so now here sign up we will call sign up and what we will send email name password that's all okay then dot then data console.log registered successfully or oh, here we will add data also after that dot catch error console dot log fail to register error dot message okay so now let us verify this functionality once so first of all here in the cognito user pool which we have created there is no end user i will refresh it and show it to you there is no end user so what i will do i will register first so what is the problem with the application type error cannot be structure property sign up so it is sign up we copy this and paste it here so this is done and here we did a mistake we have exported account context but this is account js account state dot js file so we'll just replace it with account state okay now it seems good so now we have to open our app dot js file and here we have to import our account state import account state yeah and we have to wrap this login component with account state okay so let me cut this from here and i will paste it here okay so now let me check the application once okay nothing is visible so what is the problem both user pool id and client id are required so we have added those ids here user pool id and client id we have added those ids so let me stop the server once and start it again okay so the server has been started and still it is not working the problem is same okay so let me once replace this and check i will just replace this and 
like this also okay so now let me check once yes this is visible and the form is also visible now let us sign up once and check username will be shahil email will be shahilsinha1133 at gmail.com okay we will set this password and confirm password functionality later so let me check once fail to register username should be an email okay so let me check once account state or chase 22 here we need to change this text to email and we have to replace this here and this will be name and this is email okay so this is set name let me try again okay there was a silly mistake I have replaced email with username and username with email so now let us check once fail to register cannot perform specific action because there does not exist a valid user pool domain associated with the user pool domain is not associated so here in the domain name we need to create a domain like reg me and let me check the availability this is available so i will just create it yeah it's done so now let me check one more time fail to register an account with the given email already exists so last time it was created yeah actually it was created and the console prompt us to create a domain name here so we have created domain name and when we tried twice with the same email id it just prompted us that the email account with same email already exists so let us change the email little bit and after that we'll try shahin sinha 2722 at gmail.com and we'll change the name also to Sahil Sinha right let me modify this also okay so now let me submit the form again yeah it says account created successfully and this is the data we got so let us check in the user pool here in the users and groups let me refresh it once yeah as we can see the account has been successfully created so now what we have to do we have to verify our email address as we can see here the account status is unconfirmed so let us open the email yeah as here we can see this email we got so we just have to verify it so let me click on the link so your registration has been confirmed so now let me check here once i will refresh it yeah as we can see the account status is confirmed and email verified is true so the registration process has been completed so that's all for this video I request you to please like the video, share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be adding videos frequently to complete this series. Thank you.